let's dive into the main event. Colby Covington versus Jorge Masvidal. Odds are this one's going the distance. Over four and a half rounds is minus 160. So are you willing to lay the juice on this one because there's no doubt it's going into the fifth round? Well, I wouldn't say there's no doubt because it's MMA and anything can happen, but this fight looks like it's going to go to the distance because both these guys are tough to finish. Uh, I think there's like a combined three times that they've been finished in all of their UFC fights, and both these guys have a lot of UFC fights. So uh, Covington's style makes him prone to going the distance because he lacks one-punch knockout power. And he's very control-heavy. And Masvidal is so tough and he's so well-rounded uh, yeah, I would definitely take the over on this fight. All right, so we're sort of building out your script here. Just look into your crystal ball. Who's winning and what's the winning method? Okay, so I'm going to plug DraftKings Playbook real fast. Uh, we, we wrote this fight up pretty in-depth if you go to uh, uh, Playbook on DK Nation. But I think this fight's going to look like uh, Masvidal's first fight against Kamaru Usman. Where in that fight, Usman went for a ton of takedowns he generated he had like 17 out of 25 minutes he he registered control time which is massive and he i think he went for like 15 takedowns in that fight so i think covington is going to blend his distance strikes to set up his wrestling and win a decision in a very close distance fight with a lot of clinching because i don't think covington is going to stay at range with masvidal because that's what that's the fight that masvidal wants and it's going to make it much more competitive like covington will stay at range to set up his takedowns and I think once he can get inside, I think he's just going to grind out a decision win. So um, I would go with Covington.